start. Oops, sorry. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is Biz Chicks TV. This is the place where you can find tips and tools to help you do this better. Obviously, we're live. Yes. <laughs> Like, my, my finger was too fast today. Yes, okay. <laughs> We're here to help you run a profitable business that's fun to run and to take the hassle out of your hustle. And today is Tuesday, so we are here with Terry Johnson online, our favorite person regarding social media marketing, all the way from New York City, Miss Terry Johnson. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing well. How is good, everybody? Good. I'm going to put so we have the names. I know that everybody, you know, we have the same crew and our, we really appreciate you and you know who we are. Mm -hmm. But if there's someone new today, they might not know who we are. So I put the names up just real quick. Exactly. So you know so who I'm we are. From California. Yes. <laughs> My partner, Miss Francine Gregory, is mobile today. So I am sitting in for her. And yes. we're here every Tuesday regarding social media. So TJ, what you got for us today? Well, first of all, I want to say good morning to everybody. I hope, um, well, I know, is you know, the joke is this Groundhog Day, every day feels the same. And I, mm. I put on my Instagram stories, I was like, what day is it? So everybody's doing that. But <laughs> we want to say, you know, just welcome to the discussion to talk about marketing uh, topics. That's what we talk about on Tuesdays here on the Biz Chicks. We're here every weekday. 8 a.m. 8 a. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So we're here. Mm -hmm. We're here. And I know last week you we had some people that said that they couldn't um, find us or they didn't know to go live or we went live. Yeah. And I made a video um, explainer to post and I forgot to post it. Sorry. So I will post it after this where you mark the page um, C first. You mm -hmm. mark our page C first. You mark the Biz Chicks page C first. So I have a little, it's like it's like a minute. It might be less than that. And it just shows you what to click on. So I'm going to post that today. I have it done. I just forgot to post it. Um, and we're glad that you're here to join us today. We're going to have a lively discussion because Terralina is here. It's always lively <laughs> and full of laughter. And I like that because that's what we need. We really need it. It's, I, I feel like it's time to move into some laughter. Mm -hmm. We need some levity. We need some lightness. You know, it's been heavy for the last, I, I think, almost three, four weeks. I don't mm. know. I We lost track of time. But things are in New York here, because I listen to the governor every day, and he was saying that the curve is flattening as far as, like, um, new cases, hospitalization and stuff. So I just wanted to bring yeah. that out. So I feel like we are not going up to worse. We're kind of leveling out is how he explained it. So I think that's a good sign. So we, we're just here <laughs> as usual. We're going to make it funny. We're going to laugh. I know there's going to be laughs. And um, there, you know, the topic, let me put the banner back so you mm -hmm. know what we're talking about today. And I put going direct. Now I've spoken about this direct to consumer um way process of doing business i think we talked about it a, it seems like forever it was 2019 it seems like 100 years ago but we talked about it and it was really just a few companies that's doing it but now that we're in this pandemic and i'm reading everyday stories about businesses going out of business and i'm thinking you don't have to because here, well, I know here in New York, you can, restaurants can still deliver. Like if you have food items, you can still deliver, but it has to be a, a different way of delivery. And also they have pickup. You can, you know, you can come and get it yourself, mm -hmm. but there's social distancing rules. But in the midst of all that, I'm reading about this business and that business and things are happening where people are just shutting down instead of going to this direct, to consumer process, which is new. It's new. I understand mm -hmm. that if you've been doing, you have a family business and you've been doing it a hundred years, one way where customers come in to the store. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you that's not, that model is going to reduce significantly. Even if we come out of the curve and, you know, they lift the shelter in place, there will still be people that are hesitant to go into a physical location or they've gotten used to things coming to them. Now, you know, 
people are busy lives. We had busy lives before. You know, if you were a family, mom had to take the kids to the doctor or the soccer practice or basketball practice. Or so everybody was going, going, going outside mm-hmm. of the home. But now we've been sheltered in place to where people are going to say, oh, I don't have to go to the movies. I can get my movie coming through Amazon. All I have to do is pay $19.99. Or, oh, Amazon is bringing more things to my house. Mm. I don't have to go out. So I'm feeling like the shift is going to still stay. I want things to come with, come to me because I know how people are. You know, mm. you know how people are. It's like, if I can get it the easy way. And you yeah. know, if you notice, I've seen a lot of commercials with Walmart and Target where you pull up. Pick up in store, put, yeah. Pick yeah, so store. it used to be. Saturday was the sh- when I was a kid. Saturday was the shopping trip, and my mom went here and that store and that store and this store and that. So we spent all day shopping and doing things and whatever. So now it's a different story. Mom doesn't have to go to ten different stores to get the things she needs. She can use Instacart. She can use Amazon. She can use Jet. She can use Walmart, and there'll be more. Is what I'm saying. And all of them are hiring people. Yes, Amazon has hired 100,000 and they're going to hire more. Why? Because of what I just said. People are at home because they have to. They feel safer. Mm-hmm. And, and they requested us to cooperate. So we're only going yes. to necessities if possible. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. But let me get to the comments. Mm-hmm. And I want to say, finish my welcome that, you know, welcome to the discussion. We're here, you know, Terry, Lena and I are here. We in, encourage you to bring your thoughts, your, your questions, your opinions, everything added to the chat. Also ask people to come and join us. You know how to ask people to come to this discussion. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Periscope. We're on YouTube. We're everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Except LinkedIn. Yes, Except please. LinkedIn, that was the the discussion Friday when I had to I had to cut out early, but I listened to the replay where Fran was saying about LinkedIn. We don't have that Look, yet. My Mary Kay lady is delivering. She put it on my porch. well. See, she put look it at on that. So we, I, I want you to hold that story. We're going to talk about that. So I want to say welcome. Um, Brenna's here. Hi, Pat is here. Let me put you guys up. So Gabby's in the house. How you doing, mm-hmm. Gabrielle? Pat is here. Uh, most certainly. And uh, where is Gabby? There she is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. So everyone is here and welcome, welcome. So let me remove that comment. So, you know, everybody knows how to invite people. Why? The more the merrier. We get more thoughts and opinions. It's a livelier group. We're all at home now. Everybody's Zoom partying and Zoom this and that, but we're stream yarding. Yes, we are. <laughs> we stream yard, but it doesn't matter the the platform you use. Just make sure it's secure if you're using Zoom. Just set the settings you need, and you don't want anybody. Because one of my uh, Facebook uh, friends had a webinar last week, and mm-hmm. she's a she does Christian um, social media and Christian entrepreneurship. So all her group her group are, are Christian followers. Oh, group. I need to join that group. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I'll send it to you. But yeah. she um so she had a free webinar and she was uh Zoom, what did they call it? Zoom uh Zoom blasted, Zoom, whatever. Somebody came oh, into her Zoom, Zoom and showed Zoom, Zoom, Zoom that's it, Zoom bombing. Somebody came into our Zoom and showed the group porn. And oh, it's a yeah. Christian group. She was so mortified and upset. So I told her, listen, you don't have to use Zoom. You can use Jit, Jitsi, Jitsi. I think uh, Pat told me about that one. There's Citrus, uh, a Cisco WebEx, mm-hmm. and there's StreamYard. So I told and her. And freeconferencecall.com, which is what we're going to be on. So I'm, uh, yeah, our Biz Chicks I'm gonna, conference is going to be on that. Okay. They they so I'm going to put. We have video. Oh, cool. So I'm going to put that uh, free conference call that com. I'll go back to my comment. But she was so upset because she used Zoom. And of course, there's settings you have to set. But why should we have to know that? You know, everybody is is plug and play, yeah. you know, click one thing. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to set anything. But the technical part, the technical people know that you got to go to Zoom and set this and that and that and that to lock the room. 
you have to lock the room. So um, it was, she was upset, but I, you know, there were lots of people saying, oh, don't worry about it. Everybody's doing it. But exactly. it's, we, it's, we know. More, it's more mortifying for her because, like I said, it's a Christian group. So, yeah, she was embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah, she was embarrassed. We're all embarrassed, embarrassed when, when things don't go the way we planned. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it's okay. So, yeah. Gabby says delivery has gotten back to normal for us with Instacart. Amazon has been really struggling now. If I could just get my hands on one bottle of Clorox wipe. Yes. I just, you, you know what people, I have a quote, I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really think about this because I needed elastic for my mask. I didn't mm -hmm. ask my friends out here on, on the net. You know, if you have elastic around your house, please send it to me. If you yes. have extra Clor Clorox wipes and you live near Gabriella, please send her some. Send her some. Send her some. That I mean, really, that's the attitude we need to have now of I can't get out. How can I get things to come to me? Mm -hmm. So one of those is your neighbors, your friends, anybody that's close to you, they can drop it off. But here's the caveat. Don't talk to them. I mean, I mean, it sounds you weird. Have to put it on the porch. Just yes, the that's porch. the key. You have yeah. to, you have to have them put it on the porch. Have mm -hmm. them knock. Have them, or they can step back six to twelve feet or whatever and say hi. Exactly. Say, hi, thank you. But they're, they're, when they're outside the gate or whatever, and you can, right. you know, pick it up. Right, because there's no face to face. A part of this virus is that it's transmitted by, you know, uh, the droplets. And yes. when you talk to people, you know mm -hmm. that droplets fly out of your mouth all mm -hmm. the time, even before this COVID night, you know, virus thing. So that's the key to wearing a mask. So you don't want to, I know it sounds, and a lot of people are having trouble with not shaking hands, not hugging, not talking face well, to face, but you want to be it's safe. It's changing your behavior. You know, we, mm -hmm. we were taught to be polite. We were taught yes. to shaking hands as a sign of, you know, confidence and connection. But think Hundreds. about it, Asian, Asian countries like Japan and other countries, they bow. They mm -hmm. don't touch. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they bow and they, you know, I'm going to stay, whatever. So we're going to have to start thinking differently with the part of today's show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can still say hi, whatever, and talk, but you don't have to be face to face because I bring that up because I read a story yesterday that a woman in Charlotte was, uh, she was quarantined in her home for three weeks. She didn't leave the house. I think her husband went out one, once or twice, but he stayed in a different room. They separated. Uh -huh. And she said a neighbor was doing her a favor by bringing over groceries. And after that happened, she got the virus. She she got COVID-19. But she was, but I'm thinking I wanted more details. Did they talk face yeah. to face? Probably, because that's you know, Did down she south. Let that's what the groceries sit outside. Yes. So the the thing to do to, to have done in that instead is you want to be helpful but put the groceries on the doorstep step back mm -hmm. six 12 feet whatever makes you comfortable say here your groceries i'm you know anything you need text me and the person can no, don't even have to open the door could text them back and say thank you so because we're you know naturally we like to thank each other and talk in person and but that a way of transmission for someone who's asymptomatic which means you don't show any outward signs of the disease of, i mean not the disease the virus but it's inside of you and mm -hmm. when you talk to people you're giving it to people and they could not get sick but they're taking it home to someone who is elderly or immune compromised so you yes. don't want to do that you don't yes. want to do that um okay brenna says it's a it's a necessity to get out and walk i will say i'm missing my clearance food shopping yes and gabby says Thank you. I may be able to send you some elastic somewhere around here. I have a container of stretchy string from when I made braces. So see, there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Brenna says you can talk six feet apart. Um, and also, thank you, Gabby. This is another one. Wipe the groceries down or spray them with Lysol. See, mm -hmm. this is the thing. When you go shopping, now, I did that to, when I last week or whenever I went. I got a bunch. I mean, I bought tons of stuff because I'm not going out every day. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm so I had to wipe everything down. It took like an hour just to wipe and dry and put it in the freezer. And this it takes a lot out of you going shopping now, I will say. But you mm -hmm. have to wipe the groceries down and spray them, like Gabby says. And then Brenda says, talking six feet apart. Now, there's some 
diff, there's some different things going on with scientists who are saying that it should be more than six feet. Mm. There's not a definite answer, but we're using six feet. Somebody said 27 feet that the spray, the droplets can oh fly that fast. Right. And then, yes, there's different stories and some of them are, and th some of the stories are that it will hover in the air for three hours. It won't immediately drop down. So I've been reading a lot about this face-to-face -face, because people are focusing on the social distancing standing six yes. feet apart. But if someone coughs, and they've done, you know, doctors in medicine have done studies about this. And when you cough, it projectiles. It does. Like, lots of feet. You know, uh -huh. more than six feet. So this is the thing. We have to decide Do how, you know, you, you want to stick to the six feet or do you want to be extra, extra cautious? Depending mm -hmm. on who's on your house, in your house, you may have elderly people, grandma, grandpa, somebody, somebody with cancer or, or disease that makes them more susceptible mm -hmm. to the virus. So just think about that. I'm just saying that there's more information out there, but six feet is the number that everybody's using. Again, this is new. We don't know exactly. So mm -hmm. you be cautious according to, you know, what you want to do. Um. Oh, here. It's somebody new. Hey, yeah, welcome, Michael. Michael Sessoms. Howdy, howdy from Dallas, Texas. Y'all stay safe and healthy. We will. You too. Thank hey, you for joining us. In uh, Irving. Yeah. Right Dallas, yeah. Thank you for joining us. And Brenna says, when you sneeze, it travels twenty-seven. See, that's the twenty-seven feet. When you sneeze, <laughs> look at your face. I've been reading. I'm, I'm telling you, I try to I read so all. Focused on the six feet, I felt so much safer. No, that's what I, I want. I want everybody to think that they say six feet. They don't really know. It's based on say influenza studies, but this uh -huh. is different from flu. Also, mm -hmm. Brenna coming in sneeze, when you sneeze, it's the projectile out of your lungs where the virus lives, and it projectiles out when you see. That's why this okay. This is the thing that I've learned be, even before this that viruses all they want to mm -hmm. do is replicate. Mm -hmm. How they replicate is they get into one of your organs that it can easily get out of the body once it's done what it done to you. Oh, it's done oh. to you. It wants to get out and go to a fresh host. That's what we're host to them. So the lungs are affected. You're trying to sound like zombie talk. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, it, it's exactly like that. So the lungs want to, that you cough and sneeze because the virus is making you do that. Because you don't normally cough and sneeze when you're, yeah. when you're well. So that's the virus saying, I want to get out, I want to get out. So it makes you sneeze. Here's Brenna with the 27 feet because it wants to go to another person, another host. And right now they're saying that cats are more affected than dogs. Shut because up. one of our tigers, one of our tigers in the Bronx Zoo has it. And okay. they got it from the zookeeper. You are kidding me. <laughs> See, wow. it's, it's so much information that we don't know. So you can, don't, don't feel safe with the six feet. It's, it's enough, but you may want to do more. But that's on you personally. So yes. here it is. Brenda says sneeze 27 feet. So take that information. Um, Gabby says, I'm over social distancing. Send me a text and leave me a message in a bottle. I heard that. I heard that. Girl. Listen, people, listen. We got to get over for now. I'm not saying this forever. We got, who would have thought we wore a mask? That was something they do in Asia all the time. Yes, because America we do it all the time. Americans was like, I'm not wearing a mask. Who was the first person you can think of that wore a mask out in public and got ridiculed for it? Who? <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh, I think you mean remember? Okay. Yeah, because he had a compromised immune system. Right. But they made fun of him. That oh, you know, whatever, wacko Jack, all the names. Paranoid. Da, 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 da. Yes, all of the bad stuff. But Michael was like, I'm wearing a mask because. You know, he hung out in Asia all the time, and plus he had all the surgeries and whatever. So he made, he wore the mask. Now here we are wearing the mask and the gloves. Remember, he had the one glove. <laughs> so now we're wearing masks and gloves, and it's not a big deal. But back then, it was, you know, it was like, he's weird. But this is the thing we have to get used to. We have to think differently. Well, we have I tell to you, I went to the post office, and everybody in the post office had a mask on. As you yeah, should. The, the week before that, 
I think there were only two of us who had a mask on. As you should. <laughs> okay. Now, my the last time I went to the store, everybody had masks on gloves. There was one man that was standing too close to me without a mask and out of gloves looking at us like we was crazy. And I'm like, no, you the crazy one, dude. You you're in back. a store. Right. You you need to step back. And you're in a store where you could get the virus because people are coming in and out and you're not wearing a mask. So there's still the attitude of people thinking, well, you crazy for wearing a mask. I'm like, no, I'm crazy because I want to, you know, I want to stay Stay here. I want to live. Right. <laughs> right. So <laughs> um, Brenda's, Brenda says over 200 miles per hour. That's the, you know, the projectile? sneezing. Yeah. Projectile. And Pat says, who's laughing now? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. They made fun of Michael. Last laughs best. Now the thing goes. And Gabby says, "I have been wearing a mask since March third. All now, all of my neighbors who looked at me crazy are wearing them. Exactly. See, that's why you have to." You have to take the information that's coming in, and it's a lot because I try to watch uh, the Fauci and a couple other people, and then I read some stuff. Whenever I hear something, I'm like, okay, that's a little piece of information. So you have to take everything that's being said now because it's new. We don't know. You have to take it and say, what do I want to personally do? Well, the Gabby's like, she's been wearing a mask. Yeah, because when I found out that the nurses and doctors were wearing them, they start talking about what they do. I'm like, okay, let me get in here and get a pattern and start sewing me a mask. Right. And then let's let's talk about Terrellina's California cover ups, and she's selling masks. I bought one. I can't wait to get mine. They're beautifully made. The fabric is fabulous. I love the mud cloth ones that you showed. Yeah. And um. I'm, are you going to make more? I don't want to put pressure on you. More. They can go over to my personal page, Terralina, okay. and see the pictures if they want to. Or they can okay. just message me on Messenger. Okay, but yeah, so oh yeah, I- I've got some great fabrics coming. So I'm, I'm see, really so excited. She's doing a live to show you how to put it on and what it looks like. Yeah. So <laughs> go, to Cal- go to Facebook, California Cover Ups, or type in Terralina Austin. Mm-hmm. And, and you'll find, find my personal page. Information. Yeah. And 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 I want to talk about her because this is part of the going direct, which is direct to the people, uh-huh. direct to the consumer. So she's doing a live. She did a live showing her mask and said, if you want to buy one, message me. Like she just mm-hmm. said. So Facebook Messenger. Yeah. And you say, I want to buy a mask. And then mm-hmm. she's, she gives you the cash app. And you cash app her. Or if she wanted to, she could send you a PayPal link or she could send you a Stripe link or right. this I different can send you an invoice and you can pay whatever right. credit card you want. Right. So there's different ways of doing this direct to consumer online where you don't need a store. I know a lot of people are setting up Shopify stores. My sister is setting up one today and she's blowing up my phone trying to figure out Shopify. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Shopify is okay if you're selling more than one thing and there's mm-hmm. a fee. Remember, there's a fee to use Shopify, there's a fee to use PayPal, there's a fee to use Stripe. So if you want to think about how to reduce your fees, because see, Terralina is doing something smaller on a smaller yes. scale, which is fine. Direct to consumer is custom handmade math, which should be something face to face where you're on a live talking. And she says, OK, whichever one you want, message me. And mm-hmm. that could be Facebook, that could be WhatsApp, that could be Instagram. Wherever she is, there's a way to direct yeah. message her. And she says, okay, here's the cash app, my cash app name, cash app the money. Let me know your address and I will send them. I go to the post office on Fridays. Exactly. I'm not going to the post office every day. Because the COVID- <laughs> right. So she's to like, try to they get mailed out on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> the masks are mailed out once a week and you're going to have to wait. See, I'm waiting for mine. I know mine is coming today. But that's this is what we have to think about because there are businesses out here. And I read a story. I mentioned this last week, but I read the story last a few weeks ago about a bread, a guy who makes artisan bread, mm-hmm. a, a bakery mm-hmm. of bread. And he was so used to people coming in to buy the bread. So nobody's coming in to buy the bread because one He's not, you know, you if you're not delivery or takeout, you have to close as a restaurant. So he's in the article talking about, oh, I got to close and all oh, this and that. And I'm thinking, dude, all you do is set up an online payment system. They can cash app. That's what Terralina uses. PayPal, Stripe, different things. 
different they ways. They pay. Different they different say, things. and you put a pic. He could you. He could do a Shopify store of the bread. This is the he bread could. I make every day. Thank you. Now set it people. up. And the, here's here's the here's the key. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. The delivery could be by messenger. I mentioned that last yeah. week because everybody here does by amazing. messaging. So what you do is you don't deliver face to face. You put it down. Not, you knock on the door, put it down, step back the six to twelve feet or whatever, or text them your deli your delivery of fresh baked artisan bread break baked today is outside your door. Exactly. Put it in paper, wrap it in paper, seal it, mm -hmm. and there you go. The person can leave it there, or they can bring it in and put well, it to the side and leave it there. Anyway, if they were buying it in the store, you'd have to wrap it. Right. But see, this is the deal. A lot of businesses aren't thinking that way of going direct. Oh, mm -hmm. they must come. They used to come in my store and buy, and now no one is coming into the store and I have to shut down. No. What you do is you get in there and bake that bread and figure out how to advertise on Instagram or mm -hmm. Facebook, or you post on Instagram, I'm doing fresh baked bread. And then he has customers because they came in. So remember, you know, oh, I remember that bread. I want some of it. So all I have to do is order it, mm -hmm. pay for it, and it comes to me. Local delivery. Yeah. Because bread, you're not going to mail bread. Not, not only mail bread. people are not coming out of the house with just one loaf of for bread. You know what I mean? Right. But see, they could order, if, if, they're, if they know him, and I'm pretty sure he does, they do, they could order enough bread for the week. Or they could have subscription orders. Or I love that. But when I think of a way they used to come and buy, and they can't come and buy. Let me and see here in, in and in New York, he's in Tribeca, I believe. That's a local area, so everybody locally he knows, or he could he could do flyers and go <laughs> around in the because they do that all the time in in, the, in New York. They put out restaurant mm -hmm. menus under your door, down in the mm -hmm. lobby. He could print flyers, put it out. He could go to Instagram. I'm still delivering bread. I'm still making bread. I'm delivering now. Mm -hmm. What? What's your order? And then making a minimum, like they have to buy three loaves or make a minimum, not a one loaf. Mm -hmm. Make it a minimum because he has to pay the bike delivery or the foot delivery. He has to pay those people because that way they can have a job because they're out of a job. But see, you have to think of that. And here. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda says bread freezes. So guess what? Buy a bunch of bread. Mm -hmm. Buy a bunch of bread, freeze it. But my thing is, he's he's. In, I think it was the New York Times. I have to look it up. And when I find the article, I will post it. But he's lamenting the fact that he has to close his bakery. Oh, I've been making bread. Da, 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 da. You can still make bread. People want bread. This is the thing. People want. People still want items. They still want products. Mm -hmm. They still want stuff. How do I know? Look at Amazon. They are going crazy trying to order to stuff from Amazon. Up. Yes, Amazon cannot keep up with the demand. Wow. They, had to, they had to hire 100,000 people, and they're hiring more because there's so much demand for things. To be people delivered. Get out of the house. Yes, yeah. has to be delivered. So think like Amazon. I got bread. Mm -hmm. How do I get it out to local my local area because he's a local bakery? And how mm -hmm. do I keep my place open and still make money? Minimum orders, subscription orders, go out and put flyers everywhere, uh, fresh baked bread from mm -hmm. the name of the place. Remember me? You used to love my bread. I'm still making it, but you got to buy more. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching my neighbor. You know, it's so rare to see somebody out watching my neighbor walk between the condos. I guess she's trying to get some exercise <laughs> <laughs> Super fresh here. Um, I, you know, we have a COVID-19 task force here in California uh -huh. for businesses. So I was listening to the webinar and they were talking to a restaurant here in San Francisco who had to yeah. shift. And what, what she did was she um, reached out to hospitals to deliver uh -huh. food to the staff. Yeah. Um, because her, her audience changed. They had been delivering to universities and different right. things. And those are closed. Yes. Were, yeah. So the things that she was usually supplying. And then she, the thing that we don't do and we really should do is ask our customers what do they want? Because yes. 
They wanted yeah. soup. So they yes. had to switch from their normal, you know, fare to soup, from, from right. salads and all of that to soup. And um, there was Healthy something stuff. else they did. I'm trying to think. She was saying that they um, they they did this. Little, oh, she, then what she found out was in California, you know, we, we grow a lot of vegetables here in the valley. Yeah. yeah. And they were not being um, consumed. Right. So what she did was she partnered with the farmers to mm -hmm. start delivering fresh vegetables to the doorstep. Farm to table. So she That's would bring hot food and she would bring, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Exactly. And we have those services, but I think sometimes, you know, people forget about them. Yes. Or they you do. just need more of it now. Under we need that's that, that's it because there are several uh, uh vegetable and fruit options you can have delivered. There's even mm -hmm. one I forgot the name of it. It 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 gets the fruit that it they get the fruit and vegetables that the store doesn't want the ugly vegetables oh, yeah. with the edible. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, I forgot the name of it. I forgot the but name they of ship you. out a box. It's subscription mm -hmm. based. See, mm -hmm. people still want things like Tavalina said. It may it's a more of a demand and some places can't keep up, but you got to figure out how to keep up. All right, let me look at these comments. We got a bunch going here. Yes, Pat yes. says, um, got my California cover up mask yesterday. It's awesome. See? <laughs> Thank you, there Pat. You go. There you go. Um, Gabby says, You have to do what's best for you. I remember how fast the swine flu passed when I was teaching. My entire classroom was wiped out in one day. No time to wait for the news to get it right. Exactly. You got to do, you know, you have to think and take in information and do what's best for you. Uh, yeah, Brenda said the bread freezes. Yes. Uh, she also says it's hard to find bread on the shelves and flour and yeast here. Everywhere, Brenda, mm -hmm. there, there's no yeast. And no flour. It's, it's, you can't find it. It's not on the shelf. The, the supermarkets don't have it. And what do you what do you do? You want bread? Well, the bakeries have bread. And they mm -hmm. have a different supply system than the supermarket. So they buy theirs direct from, you know, restaurant, whatever. Mm -hmm. However they get it, it's not, it's wholesale. They don't buy mm -hmm. retail flour. So they're probably still getting that flour. But like I said, the example of the bread guy, I really wanted to bring it up because I'm like, all you got to do is think, 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 of, think of distribution. Well, you know, and the then, thing is you don't know what you don't know. Right. Right. I didn't know how to read. I would, I would definitely reach out to him, but I didn't know how to reach him. It's just in the store. I mean, in the, 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 uh, the article, the uh, Gabby says, I'm not sure what the startup is, but DoorDash might be an option for bakeries and other small restaurants. That's perfect. DoorDash, mm -hmm. DoorDash, uh, seamless. There's a couple other that do, they already have the delivery system in place of, you know, the driver or the, the person on the bike or whatever goes and goes to the restaurant, picks up the order and brings it to the, the, the consumer. So that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. So he's not thinking of using DoorDash because he didn't have to think of it before because people were coming foot traffic. Mm -hmm. He, he mm -hmm. was dependent on foot traffic, but foot traffic is zero now. So you have to go online. You have to put things online wow. now. I, I read the story the other day, I think yesterday, that Macy's, Kohl's, and another store is closing like 15,000. They're closing the stores. Yes, shutting down the brick and mortar. Traffic. But, yeah. you know, that was going on before this. So can you imagine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Macy's was in trouble before. Yeah, I, I think, think Cole was, was, yeah. Cole. Go ahead. So this, so this is the deal. Macy's has clothing. People still mm -hmm. want clothes. There's still fashion people, the bloggers and Instagram. Oh, we don't, we can't buy any new clothes. Macy's has clothes. Cole's has clothes. The other store, for, uh, Gap, I think it was the Gap. Mm. They have clothes. All they have to do is figure out a way to package it up and send and and buy. And they already have the buy online. I don't know why they're not doing that. I don't understand it um, because there's got to be a demand. Maybe it's just that the demand isn't as high because people aren't going out. For instance, it's like, why do I need to go to the stylist if nobody's right. going to see it? You know what I mean? Right. Right. So those businesses are pretty much, um, I'm sorry, this foot traffic, 
Well, it's time they can't for a in. switch. And the barber can't come to you. I mean, some of them are, but I read the story of the barber that I think died. I think here in Brooklyn, he died because he went to people. He went to clients' homes and mm -hmm. he got the virus. He got the, you know. Yeah. And he died. So, so, so that's not, that doesn't work. So maybe what you want to do is if you're in the beauty industry is to sell product. Yes. And ship it. Yes. Sell products. And then you know what? You do lives or you do Zooms to <laughs> demo the makeup. I believe that Williams it got a comment here too. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hey, William. William's here. He says lounge wearing pajama sales are trending high. Yes. Sense. Those are things that are like. People want, I, I, like, like Terralina said, I don't need my hair done. I don't need my makeup done. Unless you're going on camera, you want to, you know, you mm -hmm. don't want to go. Like, exactly, but you still, which is why I need my you, Right. You, you want comfy pajamas. You want to mm -hmm. feel good about, okay, I'm in my my nice pajamas, and they got different prints. So those things are, are hot. And I actually, I had, hold on, I wanted to show you a tweet. Let me see if I can bring it up. Okay. All right. It's coming up. Is it coming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. there okay, it is. There it is. All right. Okay. So this was WordStream. They're, um, they do marketing stuff. You know, they talk about marketing topics. So seven okay. industries with increased volume performance during COVID-19, nonprofits and charities, health mm -hmm. and medical, business management, finance, mm -hmm. beauty and personal care, on-demand media, greetings, gifts, and flowers. Look at that last one. Yeah, well, think about it. My, Mother's Day is coming. Yeah. <laughs> People are going to be sending Easter, we, and, and remember, we just had Easter. We do fly. So think about all of the, the items that are necessary. It's just that we can't physically go pick it up. But if these uh, industries have great delivery systems, think Amazon, just it's mm -hmm. Amazon is all distribution. It's not about the product. It's about the distribution. So these these industries are doing well because they have in demand products and they have the right distribution system direct to kind of direct to the consumer. Flowers, mm -hmm. florists. That's foot traffic. Well, yeah. you don't have it anymore, but people still want flowers to in their home or to give us gifts or to feel better. So what's How do that? You do that? You delivery. Have flowers would do are they still delivering we need uh, to i'm people. not sure but they could the why why not all you do is you put it the what did we say earlier you put it down knock on the door step back six feet mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Let if you're person. going to send flowers terry i recommend this if you're sending flowers to mother's day send them the week before because yes. it's going to be a mess the yes. week before. now covid now we, we're inside because of the virus but Things are still happening the way that they happen. What happens Valentine's Day? You wait to the day of. You wait for Mother's Day. You wait for the day of. And what happens when you wait to the day of? You don't mm -hmm. get a selection because they're sold out. So like Terry Lita said, uh, a week before, put the yeah, order in. They'll live. Because things are still happening. As you see, you can see by the seven list, these industries are doing well, very well, because there's still the demand. And they figured out how to do it without foot traffic. So now Macy's, Kohl's, Gap, and all these other retail stores, the malls are empty. They're crying about the mall being empty. Um, you guys need to think of uh, something different about direct, going direct, direct to consumer. Because that was a thing that was happening. I think I talked about it earlier with um, away luggage was one. Uh the mat is it the mattress? There's a couple of mattress places that they send you the mattress. It comes mm -hmm. curled up in a box this big, and uh -huh. you let it expand and you let the air wow expand it. Those are direct to consumers. You don't go to the you know sleepies, you don't go to the, the uh mattress uh display um building. The, yeah. um, you don't go and just lay on the mat, you bring the mattress inside. It come, I mean, it comes to you in the mail. You lay it out and you test it out. If you don't like it, you send it back. Hey, Dr. Tachi. Thanks hey. for doing let, let me get there. Oh, so William says uh, Amazon has been under promising but over delivering. They state a delivery date but has been three days early. Good. And uh, Dr. Tachi is here. Hello, Dr. Tachi. She's here. Hello. And uh, let's see who else is. Oh, Gabby says 
I'm not sure if florists are open here. They were not considered essential. I bought myself flowers from uh, Publix via Instacart. Okay. Okay. So, there, so there's the thing. It, it's not, we're not sure of the, the location of what's, because That's it hasn't been about 1 800 flowers or, you know, right. FPD people that deliver. I so don't it has to be essential, but here, here's a thought that I had because there's so there's so much talk of opening up. They mm -hmm. may open up things like flowers and things if they can, like we're saying, if you can figure out how to do the distancing or how to deliver without talking to people. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have everything in place that we need. We you want to like we were saying about the makeup. You can still sell makeup if you're a makeup company. Um, there's new palettes coming out. How do you demo it? Do a Zoom, do a live. Hey guys, here's the new makeup line, but blah, blah, blah. And you do the live and you apply it and you show them this is how you do this. So makeup artists, you can still do business. Just you have to, instead of face to face, you have to say, well, I got to do it on online. I got to use, I'm not going to say Zoom. I'm going to say use StreamYard. I got to use StreamYard or Facebook Live, Instagram Live and demo and say, these are the new colors. If you want them, here's the link to buy. Wow. On Instagram, it's even better. You don't have to give a link to buy. Say, go to my bio. Because Instagram has the, the click and shop. So they don't mm -hmm. even need the website. So you have to start thinking. These businesses have to start thinking about going direct. Uh, Tachi had a comment. Oh, here we go. She said, exactly. That's what happens when you don't plan for eventualities. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, have to plan. you have to plan. This is this is a part. You know, we talk about that. Planning. You have to plan. Don't go, well, I make bread. And people come into my store and I was doing great business before, but now because of the virus, nobody's buying bread. Well, dude, figure it out. Make the bread, go to DoorDash or Seamless or what's what's the, it's a whole bunch of them. Or get your own. I, I know this. Up. Yeah. Get your own system up and deliver. You know so that necessity is the mother of invention. Come on Thank now. you. And that's not happening. That's not happening. Thank you for saying that. It's not happening. It's not happening because people are going, I don't know. They're they're freezing up. I understand because there's nobody, everything shut down. In New York, everything's shut down except for essential businesses. But restaurants are still open if they can deliver mm -hmm. or they can do takeout and do the social distancing. They're allowed to stay in business. So you have to figure it out. Figure it out. They used to come in, foot traffic. How do I figure it out where I can get the product to them? And not just bread, anything. People want makeup. They want bread. They want clothes. They're, think of people. Oh, you know what just occurred to me? What happened? What? what just occurred to me was that mm -hmm. um, there are a number of grocery stores and drug stores that are short on supplies. Mm -hmm. You may want to call them and see if they can use what you have to keep from having empty shelves. Okay. You are a, you know, just if you have a large amount of inventory that you want to get mm -hmm. move, I don't want to say right. you move, you might want right. to see it because people don't like coming in a store where the shelves are not full. Yeah, things are empty. Um they Smithfield ham empty. processing, the, yeah. the pork processing is shutting down because people the, the um employees are getting sick from the virus. So there's not gonna there's gonna be a shortage of ham. Hand prices are going to go up. Prices are already up. But see, things are happening where things are short, but then there's other, everybody's at home. So yeah. the demand, I'm what I'm saying is the demand is still there. We can't physically walk and pick up and buy. So you got to figure out how can I get what I got in the hands of the people that are at home that want it. That's the key, that mm -hmm. demand for it. So you mm -hmm. saw those industries. So if you're in that, you figure you know figure it out put more people on it put more manpower on it put more whatever on it um unfortunately for some industries like travel and other things there's not much you can do until travel opens up cities open up like you know new york all the travel it's like there's no one coming so you can't really sell somebody a travel package maybe mm -hmm. for the future but you don't know when the date is of everything opening. And honestly, I'm going to tell you, when things open, I'm not rushing out. I think <laughs> they be real gradual because people <laughs> will have a different pace to their lives. Do you Listen, know? if you're not taking people's temperature or 
making people wear masks to come in or I'm not coming in there because there's things going on and you know, you watch the news, there's, there's different factions fighting about this, that, and the other. Somebody wants to open. Somebody doesn't want to open. We got to get the business going. And I'm like, I don't care about the businesses. Some I care about being... Some states are not. Right. See, see how that's going? So I care about my good. health. Like we said earlier, take the information and use it and make your own decision. You are the, the, the captain of your body and your health. And I'm like, I don't care what they say. Six feet. I want to do 12 feet. Or I want to... You know, I don't even, I'm like, I don't talk to people. I'm like, just. I want to text you. <laughs> text her. This is how I do my neighbors. Hey. No, I'm not. I'm not. Because that's how I care about my health. Other people don't care. They want to go out to the beaches and they want to go this and that. Okay. Go out. They want to open the churches. Go ahead. Me? I said, go ahead. If you're not personally taking care of or responsible for your health, like eating healthy, getting some exercise and there's different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't care about that and you want the whole United States to open because you're bored. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, like really people? And then Taji said, <laughs> Dr. Taji says, nope, I'm staying right here. The virus doesn't just dissipate. Thank you. You have to be smart about this. I don't understand why people are just going off the deep end about opening up. And Taji says, since they can't make a decision, I'll make it for them. I'm staying right here. I'm with you 100%. Exactly. I'm here. I'm here. Like yes. I said, my neighbors, would take they, they take their kids out, you know, out where everybody is. I'm like, nope, I'm, I'll go outside, but I'm not going to stay out because things are happening. And they take the kids out without masks. I'm like, All what? Right. Help him no. Okay, no. so so <laughs> I made him my, my grandson and I made him a mask this weekend. This oh, okay. Weekend. Yeah, you because you're right. You're making kid. You're making uh, children sizes. Yeah, masks I'm not playing with this thing. I'm yeah. Like, mm -mm. Here, put this yeah. on. <laughs> you, and they have to put it on. They don't like it. Well, you have to put it on. Make well, that's why I made it, I made it in his. Marvel Comics thing, so he was Ooh, cool with it. Yeah, cool. I didn't see that when I want to see. I thought yeah. you had a Mickey, was it Minnie Mouse or Minnie Mouse Minnie for my Mouse. granddaughter? And yes. then I got Marvel Comics for, for the boys. See, yeah. We have to see that. I have to go to your page and see oh. that one. <laughs> okay. See, yeah, because uh, <laughs> you just you want them to be, yes, okay. You have to think, you have to think. And um, oh, Jerry's here. Good morning, blessings. Good morning. Thank you. And Taji says they must be offering the Airbnb across the street for free. There's someone else staying there from New York. Oh my God. Um, I read another story this week. Was it last week? I, I can't remember, but I read the story about Airbnb hosts are, you know, people were buying homes just to buy homes and then renting them out as yeah, Airbnb yeah, yeah. and not yeah. living in them. So now because the Airbnb industry is kind of like well, Shaky. I mean, Taji says somebody's there. So people are going under with the mortgages because they mortgage all of these properties to use as Airbnb, but people mm -hmm. aren't booking them. Got it. So, so my, mm -hmm. is it possible for them to offer those Airbnbs to the uh, volunteer nurses and things they could. coming in from other states to help they out? Could. They could, but will they? And they ask could. and just ask for a donation. They could. You know what I'm saying? Because a donation from several of them would cover your mortgage. And they could and they should. That's another thing of why we're talking about going direct. That's what you need to do. Okay, so people aren't booking online. You got Airbnb properties. Well, you better, you know, like Terry Lita says contact the, the local hospital is there any doctors or nurses that need a quick because some of them are coming right some of them are commuting in and they don't want to commute or they don't want to stay with their family because they don't want so you figure that out but they're not thinking of that everyone is crying about i can't make money and that's have. what i'm seeing right that's what i'm seeing i can't make money because the foot traffic is not coming to my store i can't make money because nobody's booking my airbnb you got to think of a different way there's different ways, different scenarios, different processes of ways to think. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tachi says, uh, 
Yes, that's what happened across the street. They completely renovated and used them as vacation rentals. See, that's I read the article this week, I believe. I'm going to find mm -hmm. the link to that, too. She, and then she also says, that's what they should do, but that's too much like right. Exactly. <laughs> why is it, <laughs> why is so hard to do right? Why is it so hard to do right now? All no you idea. have to do is use common sense, the golden rule, do unto others mm -hmm. if you have them, do unto you. All of those things are coming into play, people. Instead of sitting around crying about my business is closed, when are they going to open it? Say my business is, is going to stay open because I'm going to figure out how to get my item yeah. how to, to the people that need it. Right. So that's what Tarolina is doing. She's like, she goes on live. Here are my masks. Da, 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 da. Which one you want? Cash at me. That's it. I mail it to you. And I just try to keep it as simple as possible. That's I what you need to do. Simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. Um, Jerry says, "Is this shell shell fish nets?" I'm not sure what that. I'm means. not sure, Jerry. It might be a typo. Yeah, we understand. But this it. this is what I'm saying. Think of the process. Change uh -huh. your thought process about people or oh, people not buying. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Everyone is captive in their homes. They're tired of watching Netflix. I know. I stopped watching Netflix. I haven't watched any. I'm tired of that. People getting tired. Of, I'm tired of seeing celebrities getting on live, blah, blah, blah. I've never been a fan of that. And I'm tired of seeing them pop oh, up. Selfishness. That's getting, there oh, you selfishness. Yes. Selfishness. Yes. Thank you. Let me, let me yes. put that up so everybody can see. See, it was yes. a typo. Selfishness. And the, and the, the thing is, too, people, if you know someone who has lost somebody to the virus. Yes. You know, and you know they're going to have to go to a funeral. Send them a mask. Send them, send them something they can use. Be kind. Think it, of them. What do they need? Passionate people. What can I, we provide? Um, there was a rest. I saw the story last night. There was a restaurant in, I think it was in Brooklyn or somewhere, that mm -hmm. they packaged up all the food in the restaurant, cooked it, and packaged it up, and sent it to the hospital for the workers to eat because exactly. they have to eat. And it was going to spoil. Yes. It was gonna spoil, so they cooked. They cooked it up in the restaurant. They yeah. packaged it up with the name of the of the restaurant. So uh -huh. if you watch the news, you saw the name of the restaurant. I said, "Me, I'm gonna. I remember the name of the restaurant. When everything gets back, where you can travel, I'll go to Brooklyn and go out there. Why? Because I want to support them because they supported others mm -hmm. in the time of need. That's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah. Um, Brenda says, "Less work, save money, save time, less suffering." Mass required for me. Yes, yeah. that's it. No. People and and this is gonna this is gonna be something that may become common in the states, like it became common in in uh, Asia. You know, it will. We will get used to it because I said for me, I know Taji's saying like when if we go out, <laughs> you know, you what I'm saying? make sure it'll be gradual. I'm not. Uh, you better be. There better people better be wearing masks and gloves. Take in, in China, in the I think one of the cities in China, the, the Starbucks had a little table when you came in the door. Take your own temperature. Like they put the, you know, oh, the one that you stick yeah. in front of you, the, the one that you read your forehead, and you had to write it down on a piece of paper <laughs> before they let you in. <laughs> you know what? And you know, remember we had those strips that you could put on your forehead and it would take your temperature. Yes. Yes, I'd pass out those because I don't want you yes. touching the thing after I touched it. Well, I don't want right. to. Well, you had, you had, or some places have an employee standing at the door, mask and glove, and you want to come oh. in and they hold the little hold the little temperature thing and read it and say, "Well, if it's normal, you can come in. If it's not, you can't." Wow. And then people, go, there's going to be pushback against that. And I'm like, I don't care. You know, there's there's a sentiment of this is America. We don't do things like Asia. All of that. Attitude needs to go. You need to think about your health first. This, this is a health about. issue. This is not a right. cultural shift. This is just yes, good common sense and hygiene. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then Brenna says, just Norwex it after the plastic is wasteful. See, she, and she's Brenna knows about the the green cleaning. Yeah. What can we wipe what it down with? Happily green and clean. So she knows about all of that stuff. So if you, you know, want to know more, more about how to wipe down your stuff, go over to Brenna's um, Facebook page, Happily Green. Yes. And yes. she has some tips in there about what we should do about our groceries. Yes. <laughs> Which is 
our deliveries because that's what we're experiencing now, right? Deliveries and groceries. So I'm typing in it's hap, hap, uh, and it's a typo. I'm happily a typo. Clean and clean. Right, that's a typo. It's happily, and then if you want to, she's in here as um happily and green and clean. Uh, I see her uh, Periscope. Periscope. Mm -hmm. If you're on Periscope, you can follow her and click on it. If you're on something else, just Google happily green and clean, and she's got information for mm -hmm. you. Um. So I, I really wanted to, I had some notes, let me bring them up, about mm -hmm. ways to go direct. Oh, so if you're okay. a business, Some of the things you need to know. So if you're a business and you got a brick and mortar and you haven't done anything online, you have nothing. Like I said, my sister is calling me today about Shopify. So people are, I, I want you to have some information. There's much more. I can mm -hmm. go into more detail, but I just want to give you just a rundown. So you need an online system. And there's a couple things I want to mention. Okay. If you don't have a website, you don't have a website at all. But as a business, you should have already had one, but I'm not going to, I'm not, not going to problem gonna with you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat you up. But as a business, you should have a website already. But if you don't, you don't have anything online, the Shopify, the Shopify cost is a fee. I think it's, um, I don't want to say the fee, but it's a fee because I, I can't remember. I want to say fifteen dollars a month, but it may be more than that. But that's yeah, a, the, it's a little more know, pricey than it's, that. It's more than that. Okay, so again, so you go to Shopify.com and look it up. It tells you everything you need to know. They're going to charge you because you don't have a website, and they charge you processing. Of course, there's payment processing with anything with all of the items that I'm going to mention today, but some of them are less than others. So Shopify is an all-in-one system where it's a website and an e-commerce store. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to run. It's the most common one. There is a fee. They might have a 14-day trial. I didn't check before today, but they probably have a trial of 14 mm -hmm. to 30 days. You can try it for free. Now, that's for more than one item. That's you're selling more than one item. Okay, Shopify. Now, if you already have a website, which I hope you do as a business, there's several things you can do. If you have a website that's built on WordPress, you want to look at a plugin called WooCommerce. WooCommerce. And I'm going to put all this. Okay. I, I'm going to type it in. So, Shopify. I put Shopify in. Okay. So, WooCommerce. I'm going to type that one. WooCommerce. WooCom. Woo. W O O. Woo. Commerce. It's a plugin for WordPress. Now you should know if your website is based on WordPress. You should already know that. Okay. So you are either doing it or ask your web designer to install WooCommerce. It's a plugin. It's real easy to install, but there's some things you have to configure. Also, if you want to have a payment processing system like PayPal and Stripe, there's add-ons that you have to buy. Okay. okay. So look at WooCommerce if you already have a WordPress website. Now, if you have a Squarespace or Wix, they already have built-in uh, e-commerce things. The Squarespace, I'm not really familiar with because I don't use it. I'm a WordPress person. But it, Squarespace has e-commerce. Right. Yeah. Uh, Squarespace has all of that inside, so you just look at it. I think it's called Square Squarespace Commerce. Mm -hmm. But if you use Squarespace, you know how to go and look in your account. If you, if you use Wix, you know how to go in Wix, and it'll be there. So look in those two things. Um, now, if you have a third party... I'm oh, not sorry. Not a third party. If you have a website already and it's not it's not one of the ones that I mentioned or if you have WordPress and you don't want to install WooCommerce because it's a whole system mm. you can do Shopify buy button on your website it's just a little code that you put you can make a shop page and put your items and then buy and describe it and then you can put the buy button you don't have okay. to install anything you just put it on the page so there's the Shopify buy button also, there's something called Shop Rocket, and let me type that in. Yes, Shop, Shop Rocket. Rocket. Shop Rocket is a store that's already set up. Hold on, I got my my notes. So for seven dollars a month, Shop Rocket allows you to sell across your website and Facebook page. It integrates into your already existing website. Okay. 
Oh. So shoprocket.co. This is if you, you have WordPress, you already have a website, but it's not Squarespace or Wix. It's mm -hmm. WordPress or something like WordPress, and you don't want to install WooCommerce. Mm -hmm. You can install shop, you can go to Shop Rocket and sign up for $7. They tell you how to connect your website to the shop that you set up on Shop Rocket. Okay. okay. They have that wow. information. There's another one called Snipcart. Let me type that one in. Snip mm -hmm. cart. Snip cart. Okay. That was in there in the comments. This one lets you start selling products and downloads, electronic downloads. If you're doing PDFs and stuff like that, and you can do subscriptions. And you all you do is you add some code into your already existing website not wix or squarespace this is remember i said if you're on wordpress or something wordpress like and you know that because you have a designer you have a designer or you know how to do it yourself so they charge two percent on each sale plus the paypal or paypal or shopify i'm not Shopify. paypal or stripe fees that stripe and mm. paypal is the payment processing you must have one of those in order to take payments. So now they we're up to around um, 8%. Okay. Okay. So, but but Snipcart is, has to charge you because it's not free. So yeah. they charge 2% of your transactions. I believe if it's under $500 a month, it's, 10, it's like $10 a month. Mm -hmm. Snipcart. So you have to pay $10 a month, but they do all the work for you. All you do is connect your website. You, you you connect it to your snip cart and okay. it it, don't, it doesn't say snip it some of the the levels it won't say snip cart you'll put like a shop page on your website and then snip cart will put all everything on on it for you i don't want to get into too much details i just want to yeah. give you some options um and let's not forget square uh not squarespace square square app the square app they have a system of shopping where they had, you know, Square is the reader. You can have the reader or you can have the iPad and it's it's what they use in um look in brick and mortar. You know, when you go up there's an iPad and, and they swipe it or they have a little reader that connects to your phone. And if you're mobile, you can make sales with Square. They also have an e-commerce section. If So if you already have a Square account, you can go there. It's Square app. Let me, let me mm -hmm. type that in. Square app is the website. It's not Square, Square app. And when you go there, you'll see all the, they have all of it set up. You're trying to, you know, build the e commerce section for your brick and mortar or your website. They got everything is on the first page of what you need to do. Lots of information. Okay. So you got Shopify. Let me go through my list again. Shopify is an option if you don't have a website at all, which I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get on you. If you have a website that's WordPress based, you can use WooCommerce or you can use the Shopify buy button or Shop Rocket or Snipcart. Those are the options that go with WordPress. If you have Squarespace as a website or Wix as a website, they have e-commerce sections that you can add on to your website that you have. And then Square app is the last one, which you can, I believe you can connect your Square account to your WordPress. I think it connect to the yeah, others. You can do mm -hmm. some more detail, but it depends on where you are. Like, if you have a website, if you don't, what kind of system you're using, and what you want to use easily based on the fees, because there's fees with everything when you're doing e-commerce. There's no free. Any that anybody tells you it's free, it's not free. And Even WooCommerce is not free. WooCommerce mm -hmm. is not free. It's free to set up, but you have to add plugins. To mm -hmm. do the things you need to do. Okay. Okay. I, I believe that those fees are tax deductible, people. Okay, good. I think they're considered business expenses. Yes. So there you go. So again, if you're in business and you're set up properly to run as a business, there's your tax write off. Okay. So don't you, you know, you go according to the budget that you have set up. And you know that because you, you know, you've taught, you watch Karen, Coach Karen, when she's coming on tomorrow, she talks about money matters for your business, how to do that and set up budgets and everything. So listen to her and then you'll have everything set up the way you want. But we need to start thinking about as a business, I have foot traffic. 
I don't have foot traffic anymore. I got to go out of business. That's like throwing the baby out with the bath water. I, that's the only thing I could think of, the, the analogy. You're yeah. oh, it's overkill. Mm -hmm. You don't need to close your business. It's surrender. Don't yes, you need to people. think. How can I reach people? I used to depend on foot traffic. They came into my store. People aren't doing that anymore. And even if we get out of, even if, even when we get out of this, people are going to shop differently. Don't expect it to yeah. go to 100% the way it is. People are getting used to having things come to their door. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to open the door. Ding dong, ring the door, knock the door, put the product down, put the package down. It's all sealed up. Thank you. They text you. Oh, your item is at the door. You text exactly. back. Thank you. You don't have to open the door. People are going to start to do that. And, and if you say that's not true, I'm telling you, watch and see. Watch and see. There will be some people that will go back to foot traffic. It won't be 100%. Why? Because human beings are like that. What's the easiest way for me to get what I want? I don't have to leave my house. I don't have to go to your store. It's I think the things that constantly change and innovate the marketplace. That's how yes. the mall got started. I can do one-stop shopping. I park once. Yes. Park for free. You know, yes. And all the stores are in there. There's not going back to the old ways. It's going to be a new way. And it's going to be a combination of the old and the new. Trust me on this. Don't <laughs> sit back with your business and go, well, I don't have to do if Tachi. you want to increase your business, oh, okay. Yeah, Tachi has a comment. Very, yeah, that's like baking a batch of cookies in one burnt so you throw them all away. Foolish, thank you. That, that's, that's what I'm trying to think of. There's a little blemish on one apple and you throw the whole bag away. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Oh, one bad apple don't spoil the whole bunch. <laughs> you throw the bad apple, you don't go, I'm going to throw the whole thing out. I'm going to get rid of the whole. And, it, and listen, Grandma to cut that spot off and use that apple too. Okay. All the time. All the time. It's come on, people. But I'm reading these stories of people and I'm thinking it's not, it's doom and gloom, yes, but look for the silver line and look for the opportunity to become direct, become digital, to set up a digital distribution or to use one that's already in place. Amazon is only going to get bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just got to add more people on And they're doing that They're outputting the production Remember that uh, the old Lucy The old Lucy show where she was making the chocolates And they came out one by one And then they started coming out faster And she started putting them in her mouth <laughs> That is so funny yeah. that? When they come faster What do you do? You add more people mm -hmm. Or let me, let me get you Let me really get you here if the workers are getting sick, like with Smithfield, the robots are coming. Robots don't get sick. That's robots true. can process. Robots, robots are built on the repetition. it down every 15 minutes. And don't say that robots can't process the hams of Smith because they can. The guys at MIT are working on robots that do all kinds of things that humans do. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be our world. We have to get used to it. We have to pivot our thinking. We have to think about different ways of doing things and stop crying about, oh, the old way is dead. I don't want to think new. Think, okay, well, how can I do something different? How can I reach people that I need to reach? They're all in their homes and they want what I have because they're bored or they want different things. Or, you know, you have to think about that. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the way forward. Okay. All righty. That's it. <laughs> All right. So thank you. I thank you guys for, for watching and talking and commenting and the questions and the comments. And we didn't and, and guess whose birthday is today? Mark Ward. I was looking for him. Really? Yes, oh, his wow. birthday's today. Well, yes, yeah, it yeah, totally we'll a shout out to you, Mark Ward, whether you're here or not. Yes, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for him. Yeah. I have to send him a virtual cake, like a cake gift or something. <laughs> happy birthday. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. Mark, you know, yeah. we love you. Oh, yes. oh, and Biz Chicks wanted to talk to you, too. So give us a, uh, a ring on Messenger. Oh, maybe we can call them on Messenger. You can. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. We can. So um, 
thank you for watching today. Thank you for, you know, being a part of, of you know, I always think about these things. I'm like, is it far out? Is it too far out? And I'm like, no, it's not. It's, it's things that we need to think about that are coming. And I want you to be ready for those things that are coming. Mm -hmm. We need to do that. So when I see stuff like this and I read a lot of business articles, I'm reading everything. Wall Street Journal, I'm everywhere. Bloomberg, I'm Yahoo, Fine, I'm everywhere reading stuff. If it has to do with business, and then if I see a story that says Macy's and Kohl's and Gaps is closing like 15,000, a, a big number of stores, I'm like, those are people out of work unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. And Macy's and those guys aren't thinking of how to turn what they have into something new. You got to you gotta make it into something new and make it work instead of closing the old store. Like Taji said about the cookies. Don't do that. Don't sure. do that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So um, we, we'll be here tomorrow with Coach Karen, right? Coach Karen. It'll be Wednesday. We're going to be here with our Money Mindset Coach Karen all the way from Toronto, Canada. And yeah. we'll be talking uh, how to keep your money straight so your mind can function in your business. <laughs> oh, we need that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Especially now. <laughs> a lot of people need to be talked down out of some trees. It's going oh, to be yeah. okay, people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How um, weather the storm. Yes, we'll, we'll be all right. We'll be here at 8 o'clock. I want to let people know that Biz Chicks is going to have their Biz Chicks quarterly. It'll be online. And you'll be hearing more information about how to how to register for that. We do want to limit the seats. So, you know, you need yeah. to register early. So we'll be putting that out to you. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much, TJ. I, I learned so You're much welcome. today. Thank you. <laughs> so oh, God, that, that was my point. That was my point. I wasn't sure if, if, if it was going, if we were going, you know, because it's in my head. I got to get it out of my head. And, and I am and so it, thankful. Sense. <laughs> that it is now in our hearts, out of your head and into our hearts for solutions to how to navigate yeah. in this environment. Uh, so with that, I just want to thank you so much. I thank you for your consistency and for your diligence in research to You're bring welcome. us stuff that we can digest and apply. So with that, I just want to say to everybody, <laughs> hey, don't forget to go to the front of your own line while you're sequestered. <laughs> And yes, we're going to weather the storm, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.